Hey fam, how y'all doing? My name is Franklin and welcome to our gazes. Today we're playing the human heart. And last time we was asked whether or not this tree's origins has something to do with aliens or spirits. And Lars is like, no preconceived notions, no biases. I'm like, but Cindy's right there though. So that's that's, that's where we're at. And Lars kind of yelled at me because I stopped paying attention because I saw some chimes in the tree. I'm just like, uh, hello, plot. The overreaching plot. What is this about? Hello. What? What? You okay, buddy? What is that sound? The sun is still up. Why is there fireworks? There's been fireworks since late June, y'all. I'm just, I'm not about it. Like, I, it's too, it reminds me too much of gunfire. It triggers me. Anyway. I, uh, yeah. Just making up my mind. So which is it, huh? Let's shout at me out. Pick it just out of pettiness, just out of spite. Aliens from another universe, like me, or actual real Asian spirits. Here's the thing. I'm proof that, like, aliens may exist. So I'm from another, what, universe? Probably, possibly, or dimension, something like that, right? So, Asian spirits... I haven't seen anything like that yet. So, logically... Which one are you going for, Axel? Logically, let me say... Let me say, logically, I'm thinking aliens. But spirits, though. But Sydney, though, that's the. I just want to make Lars bad. I, <laughs> I want to make Lars bad. I want to make Sydney happy. But I can believe the spirits. I mean, I can believe the aliens. My bad, I can believe the aliens. I'm sorry this becomes a throwaway episode. I'm torn. I am torn. I don't believe in spirits. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um. Let's play an honest route. Let's play an honest route and go with aliens. And then the chimes. Is the chime spiritual? Wind chimes. That's the spiritual practice. An object that people have. Why are wind chimes in the tree? I low key when I think of a tree that's like always orange. I think of, like, is the tree dead? Is it okay? The grass around it's green. Is his root, is the roots healthy? Did y'all check? Like, I don't know fam, maybe you gotta replace the soil or something. It's orange because of aliens or spirits. Cause like, now I'm thinking like in the water, why are the chimes there? The chimes make me think it's spiritual, but like I'm evidence that aliens exist. This is actually a really good one. You got me. Wow. I mm, let's. I, even though that I'm proof of aliens, I think something spiritual happened that isekai'd me into the world of Kapoyapan or the, the, the furry world. Like, I think that's something spiritual, not aliens. So I'm gonna go with spiritual. I'm with Sydney on this one. <laughs> it just sounds a lot more believable than aliens. It's not that. I think the spirits will the aliens me into this world therefore I can see the spirits doing something else that's it that's all I'm thinking yay we we, we all agree <laughs> Lars don't count I just don't see how aliens could have anything to do with the tree oh, I don't mean to embarrass they probably do something more technological. 
like I wouldn't think wind chimes is like a seriously technological thing unless that's what's causing my headaches for real for real and then maybe like they implanted something in my brain to like take over Kapayapan ka, 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 something like that you people you people paranormal activity is absurd and aliens aren't <laughs> I mean, me, right here in front of y'all. Hey, now, don't let a little folklore get in between the two of you. Fine, but I'm sticking to my beliefs regardless. Same. Well, now that that's settled, <laughs> now that I've seen a sentence that had four that's in a row and it was grammatically correct. Oh my goodness. Well, now that that's settled, how about we continue our tour of the town, Axel? Oh, have you shown him around the park yet? Well, we bumped into you. We bumped into you before we could. Into you. How do you say yeah? I only say yeah one way, and that sense of structure was like, hmm. Hmm. Well, we bumped into you before we could. That fits. That fits. Ooh. How about I tour you around here? How about I tour you around here? I could use some help showing Axel around. The park's kind of boring, though. Ah, Sydney. <laughs> Nonsense. It'll be fun. Listen, let me let me fall in my own opinion. What you say, Axel? Or what do you say? Or what say you? What say you, Axel? Sure, I don't see why not. Okie dokie. Where do we start? I think I can take point from here. Lead the way, Lars. Goodness. <laughs> <clears throat> what about you, Sid? Wanna come along? Come along with me. Sure, whatever. The more the merrier. Oh, oh. We should bring the mayor too. Hey, where is the mayor? Wasn't he just here a minute ago? You all look around for him in the surrounding area. <laughs> he left. Oh hey, look, he's falling asleep on a bench over there. I guess he didn't really want to hear y'all bicker. <laughs> oh well, he's lost. Lost. L-O-S-S. Cade wraps his arms around you and a hyena as Lars acts as your tour guide. Aww. Aww, I love a cuddly person. <laughs> the cuddly friend, absolutely. The cat leads you all over the park, pointing out details that you weren't weren't aware of before. You weren't paying much attention to most of his words. It just sounded like incoherent babble after a while. You were more drawn in by the look of your surroundings rather than the details about them. I guess we're just kind of having a relaxing stroll through the park, huh? This is nice. That weird tree still perplexes me though. Looping back around to the park now, a look Looping back around the park now, you know you once again listen in on the rest of the group. Everyone comes to a halt as soon as Lars runs out of things to say. And this bench is um uh I guess that's it for the tour then, huh? <laughs> I guess so. Told you it'd be boring. It was relaxing, it's a beautiful scene. I mean I kinda enjoyed it. It was kind of nice to just have a calm stroll through the, around the park. Hmm, I guess you're right. Sorry if I couldn't get any further insight into things. You did great, Lars, don't worry. The hyena shrugs. <laughs> I'll assume the tour was enjoyable then. I wouldn't say enjoyable. More inform informative, maybe. Hmm, fair, fair enough. Well, thanks for the t fun time, guys. But me and Axel got to get to our next stop. Ooh, and where would that be? I was thinking of school, maybe. Sure, Axel around the place where he spent a good chunk of our lives, where we spent a good chunk of our lives. Oh, that would be pretty close by, just around the corner. <laughs> yeah. Would you guys want to come with? Oh, I would love. Lars pulls out his phone from his back pocket. Huh? A voicemail. I wonder who it's from. I wonder who it's from. 
Oh, man. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> See, I gotta stop. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, my name is Franklin, and this um, has this has been Orgasis. Um, if you enjoyed this video, let me know by leaving a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you know when I upload a minute that I do. Uh, what else? If you enjoyed this game, you can download it for yourself via the links in the description in the comment section. I believe that is all I have to say, so I'll see you guys in the next video.